when I was 23. I was cut from the CFL after I was not drafted in the NFL. I had to move back in with my parents in a small apartment in Tampa. And again, dreams dashed. You work so hard and then somebody's saying that, well, you're just not good enough and you gotta go home. And at 23, you think life is over. I fell into a deep depression and I remember at that time, um, the only thing I wanted to do was clean the walls. I grabbed some cleaner and a rag and for days I would clean. I cleaned everything. It was just the only thing I can control. I found that with depression, one of the most important things you could realize is that you're not alone. You're not the first to go through it. You're not gonna be the last to go through it. And oftentimes it happens. You just, you feel like you're alone and you feel like it's only you and you're in your bubble. And, and I wish I had someone at that time who, who could just pull me aside and hey, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. So I wish I knew that. I just gotta remember. Hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith. And on the other side of your pain is something good. After about a month and a half of staying in that little apartment and cleaning, I got a phone call from the head coach of the team who cut me, the head coach of the Calgary Stampeders. He called me and he said, hey, I know we cut you, but I'd like you to come back. I said, okay, I appreciate that, coach. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll think about it. And he said, okay, great. I hung up the phone, and um, my dad said, you're going to do it, right? I said, no, I don't think so. I think I'm done with that. And he goes, what? I said, my gut tells me I'm done. He said, what are you going to do? I took a deep breath. I said, I'd like to get into the business. He said, what business? I said, the wrestling business. He says, you are throwing it all away. It is the worst mistake you will ever make. He said, you're ruining your career. I said, maybe I'll be no good. But I feel like in my heart, I have to do this. And I either need you to train me or need you to not train me. My dad rose to the occasion. So I'll try. And it wound up being one of the greatest chapters in my life. <laughs>